Changes are coming to downtown Ocala. Residents will soon be able to drive their golf carts on more city streets. The city council said no to the changes in the past, but they've since changed their minds. And now they're joining city leaders in Williston and High Springs who are adopting updated golf cart ordinances as well this week. TV20's Emma Delamo tells us one of the biggest concerns both officials and residents in Ocala have. This summer, golf cart owners will be able to drive downtown. I think it's going to add a lot to this little community. It's needed. The city council approved expanding the golf cart map to include the downtown square district. Council members in favor of the expansion say more people will shop and dine in the area, which will help nearby businesses. But those opposed worry current problems will get worse, such as parking. Even residents who support the expansion agree. Parking is going to be a little bit of a problem, but if they learn how to stagger their parking, uh, there could be two golf carts per parking. The parking garage downtown and metered parking across the district are available for car drivers. Right now, that parking garage does not allow for golf carts to park in there. City officials say golf cart owners will have several options on where to leave their cart. We do have two lots allocated to golf cart parking, which are the existing lots in the current map, and they're the same lots for the new one, which is right here at City Hall and the adjacent uh, customer service office parking lot. The expansion was originally shut down by the City Council last November. However, officials came back with a revised map, which includes less of the city. Golf cart owners can't drive around the square just yet. The resolution goes into effect on August 1st. The city still has some work to do before golf cart owners can drive around the square, so just put up more of these golf cart signs. Reporting in Ocala, Emma Delamo, TV20 News.